It is uh, still unknown why some people develop shingles, others don't. For example, only one-third of people, adults, uh, develop the shingles, but the other two-thirds never develop the shingles. Mm. And also, the important one is, and among those of, uh, people who develop the shingles, only 8 to 10 percent of people do have immunocompromised conditions. So meaning, otherwise, healthy people. So that is a really uh, suggests that you know, there are some unrecognized risk factors might explain perhaps an epidemiology of you know, shingles. Another reason uh, for why we conducted this study was previously we demonstrated asthma increased risk of serious uh, respiratory infections uh, such as a community acquired pneumonia or invasive pneumococcal disease uh, and uh, pertussis. Also in a common respiratory infections such as ear infections and uh, strep throat infections. So the meaning is, is this sort of a infections uh, association with asthma prompt us to pose the questions whether this is true for non-respiratory infections such as shingles, mm -hmm. because shingles is not re respiratory infections. So what we found it was there are a few important findings. So the people who develop the shingles more likely be asthmatic patients. In other words, asthma does increase a higher odds of developing uh, shingles uh, by about 70 percent higher odds compared to those without asthma. So, and it's, it's suggesting that this is a really, I mean, previously unreported uh, finding. One important uh, finding I want to emphasize that is, although asthma was associated with increased risk of the shingles, but asthma treatment, including in healthy corticosteroid, even in a systemic corticosteroid, were not associated with you know, shingle, risk of shingles. Therefore, patients with asthma shouldn't be concerned about uh, getting an you know, asthma treatment. This is very important things I want to emphasize. I think uh, clinicians and patients with asthma should be aware of asthma is unrecognized risk factor for uh, shingles. So any uh, uh, symptoms suggesting uh, shingles are perhaps they should have uh, sought uh, medical attention early on. And again, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, asthmatic patient uh, should be treated uh, properly with asthma medications, including inhaled corticosteroid, to achieve and maintain asthma control status because asthma medication was not associated with the re uh, increased risk of shingles. Given the uh, larger proportion of people in the United States affected by the asthma, and also the associated uh, significant morbidity with shingles, it is reasonable the asthmatic patient uh, should receive a uh, Joster vaccine, a shingle vaccine, to prevent uh, Joster. So because this uh, Joster vaccine approved uh, by FDA for adults aged older than 50 years older,